Yeah, yeah. yeah that's my husband, Pierre. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pierre Landro, how are you? Yes, yeah, I see that now over here. Okay, there it is. Yeah, well, I know what he wants me to talk about. He wants me to talk about when I had Rihanna on the flight. Okay, um, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, she was uh, traveling with her um associate i guess her personal assistant Mm -hmm. and so she was trying to hide and she was sort of incognito and i did not call her rihanna yeah um you know i called her miss miss uh yeah what's her last name uh fuentes no robin anyway i called her by her last name Mm -hmm. um she wanted her steak well done so you know cooking on the airplane is challenging as it is so um i did two rounds in the oven and then stuck it in the bun warmer (laughs) did you really wow oh yeah so that thing and she told me it was perfectly done um (laughs) as she was leaving uh she had on a pair of her um eyeglasses that she was going to Paris to do the fashion show right. and I said that they were I complimented her and she stopped she turned around and gave me the biggest hug in front of like all the passengers and the, and the people were like oh my gosh did she just <laughs> hug you so my husband uh, I text him and I told him what happened and he tells me he goes well don't shower until I get home from work so I can <laughs> hug you too <laughs> <laughs> and and you know, Carolyn, I'm so glad that you said that because we all know that we don't need to mention their names, but there unfortunately are many on board and we are instructed sometimes not to look them in the eyes, that we are on, not to speak to them directly, we are only to speak to their handler. So we'll just move on past those folks, but <laughs> who else, Carolyn, right, throw right. out another name. Yeah, we, we've all had them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we have. <laughs> All right, throw out, the, throw out some names. Go ahead. Uh, Gloria Stefan, but that was way back. It was like 20 years back when yeah. she was, you know, at the top of her career and yeah. the high of her career. She very nicely, very nicely. Yeah. I, I would say the most um, inspiring, the most sentimental was having Rosa Parks on the flight. Wow. And Did uh, you? she was, you know, Ugh. my grandparents, my grandparents would host her when she would take all the high schoolers from Detroit down to walk the Edmonds Pettis Bridge every summer. So, you know, when she walked on the flight, I was like, <gasps> and you know, my grandmother would call and say, you need to come down here and take this walk. And I'm like, I'm not doing that walk, you know, so she was like, you need to come. And then I had to let her know that I'm a Meadows. And she said, Henry and Ada Meadows? I said, yes, there's not too many Meadows that I know. And I said, I am a product of Henry and Ada Meadows. Wow. And she hugged me, and I just started crying. Of course. And she, she says, you know, and I said, thanks to you. Just, just all I want to do is thank you. And we had the picture of my grandmother and her when, when she would come down and, and they would host them because my grandfather was the mayor of a small little town called Whitehall, Alabama, right between Selma and right in between Montgomery. Uh So, you know, uh, I couldn't appreciate it at that time being younger, but when I met her on a flight, I immediately called my grandmother from a payphone. I put maybe like $6 and quarters (laughs) in the payphone to call her and let her know who I met. And she says, Job well done. It was free to be there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Job well done. The, the the funniest celebrity I ever had was uh who was the exercise guy named Richard uh Simmons. Richard Simmons yes. with the shorts. Yeah, 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 I think we all had him on the flight once. <laughs> we all had him on the flight, right? That was probably the funniest character, funniest guy I've ever had on the flight. The other celebrities always were pretty much quiet. Uh, yeah, really respectful. I've never had anybody on the flight that. I couldn't give eye, eye contact with or speak to the handler. So, and I, you know me, I probably, probably would have been like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, so in the, the years with dealing with celebrities and people like that, I must say, uh, Rosa Parks was the most inspired mm-hmm. and inspirational person that I got to meet before her. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. Um, Elizabeth Montgomery, she was oh. so sweet. Huh. Oh, wow. Um, I've had Akon, 
Mm-hmm. Um, okay. He signed everyone's autograph and took pictures with everyone. Uh, he was he was so nice, just a really kind kind man. Yeah. Um, Prince, gosh, I, so many. <laughs> Prince, Mitzi Gaynor back in the day. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, she was very sweet too. Very nice. When we were L.A. based, we had a lot in and out of L.A. I think. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Bill Bivens. Prince. Um, Prince. <laughs> Yeah, Prince a couple times. Um, uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, yeah. they were always on our flight. Yeah. Always. Yes, yeah, they were. Yeah. Yeah. They were always on the L.A. Minneapolis route, right? right. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, <laughs> always. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think they knew us by name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and those um, those famous uh, sumo wrestlers, you guys remember that in the 747? Oh, yeah, Akibono. Yeah, and, and yeah. so sometimes they would take out that centerpiece between the two seats, you know? <laughs> And, like and I've been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I've had Yo Yo Ma and his cello. They both got their own seats. Ah, yes. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Wow. Very cool. Wow. Um, my first was Al Pacino. I was 21 years old, and it was a Detroit indie flight. Very, very short flight. And I noticed him when he walked by me on the 727 uh, stretch. I was there at the the closet there, um, at, right behind. Uh, first class helping to board and in my burgundy uniform and he walked by me and he was I'm about five three and a half and he was eye level with me and my heels were just a couple (laughs) inches and I thought wow such a handsome guy you know for a short guy you know I mean my husband's six four so I my like my you know tall but I thought wow he's handsome and so then he goes and he sits in coach and when we're doing the beverage service um he was sitting in nine delta and he ordered a gin and tonic and so I went and I made his drink and and I looked at him and I said you know I said you look a lot like and I I reversed the words I said you look a lot like the guy who stars as Al Pacino in Scarface (laughs) instead of stars as Antonio Montoya right and I said you know you look a lot like the guy that stars as Al Pacino in Scarface and he just was kind of annoyed with me and he's like I don't know what you're talking about you know and I said oh I'm I'm sorry you you should check out the movie I mean you you really do resemble him and he's like okay okay well in hindsight of course he thought I was probably teasing and knew exactly who he was, you know. Mm-hmm. And so then I pushed the beverage cart and I went up to 10 and you would have thought I was on a soul flight or something. He literally reached toward the back of my skirt and pulled on my skirt. And I turned and looked and now he's jo- he's joking and laughing and he says, well, sometimes I get Robert De Niro. <laughs> and I went back So I stepped back, and I went to him, and I took his face like this, you guys, okay? I squatted down right in front of him. I took his face, and I went left to right, and I said, no, 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 it's it's not De Niro. You really, you really resemble that guy that stars as Al Pacino. And he said, who's this? And now he knew I was serious, that I had no clue. And I said, um, Al Pacino. And he says, oh, hmm, and what's the movie? And I said, and I'm like this. I was 21. I said, it's called Scarface. The acting is incredible. I've seen it like 10 times. <laughs> but they say the F word a lot. And there's, <laughs> there's, there's nudity. So I just want to warn you. But really, check out that movie because you really do resemble this guy. <laughs> And so on I went. Okay, short flight, because it's Detroit Indy, right? Yeah. So I'm up at the front jump seat, and for the only time in my entire career, they couldn't open um, the forward door, the boarding door. (laughs) So I'm in 1B in the jump seat, and so everybody has to about face and deplane out of the aft stairs. That's the only time that we ever had that issue where we couldn't open that door, okay? So everybody turned around to plane, and so there I I couldn't say goodbye to everybody, right? So Mm -hmm. I went to the back galley. You know, we went through and picked up all our people magazines and stuff, right? And went to the back galley, and I was talking to the flight attendants, and this this flight attendant, this guy, hands me this little piece of paper. And it was was a receipt from the, remember the host stores? They Mm -hmm. ran all the airport stores, Mm -hmm. right, host? It was a host receipt that he must have scrambled to grab a piece of paper real quick. And in pencil, 
He wrote, Sonia, you are very wise. Underline, thanks, Al. <laughs> and immediately the conversation rewound in my head and they were like, who was that guy? And I go, oh, oh no, no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I said, you guys, that was Al Pacino. But I told him he looks like the guy who stars as Al Pacino instead of Antonio Montoya. I can't believe I held his face. I told him, oh my gosh. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, pretty embarrassing. I always say I would love to see Al again, and if he'd remember the flight attendants who's holding his face, telling him about himself, basically. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. <sighs> Girl, I know. <laughs> only you, only you. I know. Only you. And tons of politicians, you know, we've all had all the politicians on and stuff. Um, oh, yeah. Of course, not Barack Obama, but um, the Clinton. Bill Clinton. No, actually, I non rabbed with Bill Clinton. Yeah, I was going to so. say, actually, Memphis based, those Memphis based flight attendants had Hillary and um, Bill Clinton on quite a bit over the years. Yeah. Yeah. But I never did. Yeah. No, yeah. I never did. And uh, Robert De Niro, but see, you know, traveling to Paris as a mm-hmm. guest a lot. Yeah. Um, I got to sit up front. And so I would see a lot of celebrities. Mm-hmm. You yeah. Know, right. Wait, the real Robert there. De Niro or was it Al Pacino? No, it was the real Robert De Niro. <laughs> he was filming something in uh, in Paris. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, oh my gosh! But you know, when you're not in uniform, you definitely right. can't just walk up randomly to people and start talking. I know so. that's the thing. Yeah, I've non revved so many times with people, and one time I non revved with Prince on. But I was non-revving, and that's different. Oh, and when we say non-rev, you guys, that means that we're flying as a passenger, and we really we don't identify ourselves as a crew member. Obviously, we're not a working crew member, so that's kind of a faux pas. But um, yes, I've non-revved with so many celebrities, uh, and you just can't say anything, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. 